All right, good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video today. I uh, got a lot of new subscribers in the past uh, past couple weeks or two weeks or so since I started uploading. So, welcome to the channel, guys. My name is Justin Menendez, and uh, I do everything uh, really inshore fishing. So, hope you guys enjoy the videos. So today we're going to be doing some. A tad bit different. Um, so as you guys know, like there's a lot going on in the world right now. Uh, it's likely that some grocery stores and stuff will close. Actually, my parents just got back yesterday from the grocery store and they said they literally had no meat, no fish, no seafood, all that. So what we're gonna do today is I never ever ever do this, whether I'm on camera or off camera, but like almost, I almost never specifically go out with the intention to catch and keep fish. I almost always do catch and release. Uh, so today we are gonna load up the cooler. Sorry, there's an airplane. So today we are gonna load up the cooler with uh, with anything, sheep's head, redfish, trout, maybe a juvenile black drum, uh, maybe a pompano. Everything's on the table for today, guys. We're gonna just load up the cooler with fish so we have fresh fish at home. And uh, we're gonna have some fun with it as well. We got live shrimp, come and check these guys out. There are live shrimp right there. We got about, I don't know, three dozen or so, but they look solid. And yeah, that's it. That's what we're doing today, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, let's get let's get going. Alrighty, so we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna start off using these little, uh, these are called yellowtail jigs. I'm not sure the actual brand of them. I think they're like a dozen for about five bucks or something. You can probably get them at most tackle shops. We'll grab one of our shrimp here. This is a, uh, I don't know three and a half inch shrimp here. I like to rig it just through the tail like that. Some people like to do the head, but I think this works pretty well. And the first stock we're expecting some sheep's head. Snook inhaled the live shrimp and I missed him. I'm actually really mad at myself for that. I mean, he inhaled it, so I pulled when it, I watched it go into his mouth, but somehow the shrimp, you know, just jig head pops out. Kind of weird sometimes. Like I watched him just go whoop and it fly into his mouth, so I pulled and uh, probably should have been just a little bit slower with the hook set, but I do think I should have got him there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, first fish of the day is literally oof, a micro trout <laughs> that just ate the bear jig head. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Oh, getting eaten. There's a fish. Mangroves. Little guy, not big enough, but might be a big one in there. Mangroves, mangroves. First fish of the day. Little mangrove. Let me put on another shrimp and see if there's a bigger one in there. Oh, he's getting eaten already. I'm on. Oh, that was a decent sheep's head. That was such a tiny shrimp. I don't know if you guys saw that. It was like half an inch long decent sheep's head not quite in this in the minimum range they got to be 12 so let me grab this guy see how long he is he's definitely not 12 but just for measure he's about 10 so 10 inch sheep's head there but good thing i'm finding fish i bet there's some big ones in there i just got to work through these little guys Take a little broken dead shrimp here. Drop it in there, shouldn't matter when fish start eating like piranhas. Launch it up against this rock shoreline here. See how long this takes. Oh, I got eaten. I think it's a mangrove this time. Another one. See how long this one is, just for measure. 
believe they have to be 10 inch. This guy is, eh, he's probably nine inch on the dot. Oh, I got hammered by something. What is this? There's a decent mangrove. Let me turn this off. He looks size. <sighs> Let's check. <sighs> Zero. Yeah, he's over 10. We'll throw him in the cooler. First fish of the day. Going in the cooler. All right, we got one mangrove down. That's a freaking sandwich right there. And mangroves are super, super good eating. Saw a decent jack blow up on this wall. I might get clapped by a jack here. Oh, I'm on. That's a jack. That's definitely a jack. Yep. Look at them all. Just as I thought, I was like, there was just a big blow up from a jack on this wall. <sighs> That's not actually a bad jack at all for this area at least hooked him perfectly so he wasn't going anywhere launch him back in all right let's get some uh, some decent fish here oh he got hit hard yes sir come on come out come out come out I think I might need pliers for this guy. He's biting down on the jig head. He gone. Oh, this is a perfect little shrimp right here. Super, super tiny. All right, back under this dock. It's like right there is the money spot. Oh man, he got hit hard. Oh. They just they're eating the plain jig head now so i just got to keep her out from under this dock i don't think i almost just fell in the water i don't think i was recording so we got two in the bucket or two in the cooler now we'll just drop another one another piece of shrimp under the dock see if we can get another one all right mangroves damn he's getting killed There we go. That looks like a keeper. Let's see what he measures at. Zero. Yep, full 11 inch right there. Whew. We eating good, boys. Grocery store is closed. We'll just. We'll just eat mangrove snapper every day. <laughs> All right, so ignore the fresh cookies. We got one, two, three. That's the biggest of the day right there. Look at 11 inch. The other ones were like 10 and a half each. Next shrimp. I'm just using the little piece of tail right here. It's a good way to save your shrimp is just split them in half because these mangroves will just obliterate a live full live shrimp and then you'll just waste one so we'll drop it back down oh my gosh they destroy it i think i got one on yep there's one there's a little guy i might have weeded or i might have got the big ones out of there already Yep, I need pliers for this guy. 
Oh, that was annoying. Well, he literally just pooped all over me. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Get in, get in, get in. That's a nice one. Oh. Dude, this little like uh, chunk of, I saw this and there were birds and pelicans all over it. No dock, just poles everywhere. And I was like, that's gonna be the spot. There we go, there's a stud right there. Get him on the ruler, zero. Oh, that's a 12 incher beautiful bright bright red uh mangrove snapper right there go ahead and throw him in the cooler that is number four of the day fought pretty dang hard too i really would like to catch like a giant one like 16 to 20 inch one that would be awesome that would be super fun huh <sighs> number four All right, so we're gonna grab another shrimp out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and split it in half. Look at just like that. Let's go get another one. I think these pilings are gonna have them loaded in there. Oh, I'm getting picked up. fish oh tiny 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 not what i was expecting after getting that 12 incher well i guess i can reuse the shrimp it's still on there oh there's a fish Come on out, buddy. Ugh. I guess this guy's close. He's probably nine and a half, not quite 10, but not worth keeping. Go ahead and let him go and let him grow bigger. Pretty little guy. These are really cool fish, bright red. Oh no, the dolphin's coming. Let me get rid of him. Oh, I got hammered. Come on out. Ugh. Oh, good little fighters. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so, t <laughs> I've caught so many in this eight to eight to 10 inch range today. I think it was probably like the fifth or sixth one and he hit so hard, it, sound, it felt like maybe a big one just engulfed the shrimp, but nope, just a little guy. See you, fella. Last shrimp of the day right here, guys. I'm gonna split them in half. Hopefully one of these uh, pieces is gonna get me a keeper. I'm gonna drop it right in the middle here. It's gotta be one more keeper in here. There's a fish on there. Oh, this is our first sheep's head appearance today. And of course the drone needs to be landed just like <laughs> two videos ago or whatever. I think that's our first sheep's head of the day. Probably, I don't know, 10 inches. Maybe this is the second, I can't remember. I think it is the second sheep's head. All right, sheep's head, back in the water you go. Oh my God, I'm about to freaking sink. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. That was actually, uh, that was pretty fun. We caught a ton of mangrove snapper. I think we got two sheep's head, and uh, I remember missing a nice snook early in the morning. So let's go ahead and check out our groceries. Get rid of those cookies. Didn't catch those. All right, so we got four mangroves in there. Well, yeah, one, two, three, four. Uh, those are all gonna go home, get filleted, 
and then uh, they'll either, one, we'll eat them today, me and my family, or we will just freeze them and put them in the, uh, yeah, in the freezer to uh, eat later. So you never know, grocery stores might close or whatever, you know, it could get crazy here real quick. So if you guys did enjoy that video, be sure to hit the like button. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And I will uh, appreciate that a lot, guys. Next video is, uh, will probably be coming up here shortly. I'm making videos probably three a week. So stay tuned, guys. Um, that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Check in this pendant She talking my news, what's in them?